Hi, I'm Ryan, reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing the film Princess Hale and the Jester. Wow, but wow. This film was more than great. With the CGI and how this film ends unlike any royal fairy tale movie. The storyline goes by a kingdom who gets attacked by an army of goblins, and the king, Brian Herlong, gets turned into stone. And the young Princess Hale, Emma de Chanel, runs away with the jester, Henry Duncan Novak. And he brings her to his hometown. Afterwards, Princess Hale wants to go back to the kingdom, but the guards take her away and kill Henry's grandfather, Geoffrey Lyons. Afterwards, they fight the evil queen, Priscilla, Rachel Stacy. But while watching this film, I found a little bug that kind of annoyed me. When they were fighting Princella's, uh, Princella's castle, Princella pushed Princess Hale onto a wall, and she fell in pain, but there was no sound. That was just weird, and it kind of bugged me. I didn't know what happened there. The message is that not all royal fairy tale movies end with a happy royal marriage, just like this one. I give Princess Hale and the Jester 4.5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 8 to 12 plus adults. This film would be streaming on VOD May 21, 2024. I'm Ryan McKenzie, reporting for Kids First. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of my extra use or those of my team members. Catch you next time!